afternoon, my lovelies. Happy Monday. It is currently 2.30 in the afternoon. This morning flew by with all the things I had to get done. But our house has been severely, oh. Our house has been severely, severely neglected. We had a super busy weekend this weekend. I went to law prom, which I didn't even know was a thing. That was super fun. And then it was Easter yesterday. We had brunch with some family. I'm gonna show you what we're working with and what we've got to clean. So instead of a Sunday reset, this is going to be a Monday reset. I told my husband I wasn't going to work out today because I said that cleaning was basically just like a workout, which I think it is. He's like, there's no way you can burn that many calories from cleaning. And I'm like, a let me prove you wrong type of person, you know? Um, so I'm literally charging my Apple Watch right now so that I can put it on and count how many calories I'm burning doing this like downstairs deep clean. And I think I'm gonna prove him wrong. Uh, let me show you what we're working with and what we're gonna do today. Okay, so here's my current list of to-dos for today. We need to clean the kitchen. I have to do all of the dishes and I really wanna clean the grout in our kitchen because we're just kind of looking a little yucky. I need to pick up our laundry and move that upstairs and just kind of like declutter all the surfaces. There's like a lot of crap just sitting on our tables. I need to dust. I need to vacuum. And if I have time, get to the windows. I got inspired last night knowing that I was going to do this cleaning and I ordered some fun stuff. This is probably my favorite part. I got this tool that's like a grout cleaner that I'm going to use to clean in between the tiles because I'll show you. I'll do like a close-up shot. There's like, it's like brown in between the white tiles and like I feel like I haven't been able to get it off so I feel like this little like revolving toothbrush will be able to work for what we need today. And then I got these little mop pads. I'm expecting some spray bottles to come in later today, but I don't like need them for this cleaning. As you can tell, I really like cleaning. I'm kind of a clean freak, except for when our life gets really busy and then I can't be there to do it. So. I am so excited. This is gonna be so great. All right, let's get cleaning. Okay, I have my Apple Watch on. I had to literally charge it for this and revive it from the grave because I have not worn this thing in probably six months. Okay, so I'm just gonna set it to other. <gasps> Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Time to prove my husband wrong. I think my Apple Watch has officially lost its marbles. It's not calculating anything. I've been wearing it for like seven minutes and it just has the like, it just says zero active calories, zero total calories, and the beats per minute are zero. Oh, well, I won't be able to win this battle of proving to my husband that you burn calories while cleaning. It's probably karma biting me in the butt for being prideful. Anyways, now I still have to clean. Okay, pick back up where we left off. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever It's really need to be washed So as of today, I am officially eight days away from finding out if I'm pregnant or not And I really feel like doing videos like this really helped me pass the time The two week wait is literally the longest amount of time. I honestly envy the people that test because their period is late and they're like, why is my period missing? I seriously envy those people because when you are going through medicated cycles and you know exactly to the day that you ovulated and the exact to the day timing of when you are going to find out, it is torture trying to distract yourself and keep yourself busy. What's so crazy is that in the two years of us trying to have a baby, I've never seen a single positive pregnancy pregnancy test. Granted, I think I did have one positive on a first response test, but I'm pretty sure that it was a false positive. The first time that I saw that line and thought it was real, I was freaking out. And then obviously come to find out, I go to take a test the next morning and the next one is completely blank. Since then, I've switched to the bird and bee tests. I absolutely adore those tests. They never give false positives. And then when I was testing out my trigger shot, they were so ultra sensitive that I know for a fact that when I test this cycle, those ones are guaranteed to give me the earliest results without them being false positives. Never thought I would jump on okay, I don't know about you, but nothing irks me more than picking up the food that's at the bottom of the sink when you're done washing the dishes. <laughs> Okay, I finally finished all of the dishes. Now it is time for the fun part, cleaning this 
grout. I'm, you guys, I am so excited. Also, I posted on my TikTok that I just needed some help in our kitchen area. This like space is just so sad looking, but I did order two floating shelves. They're going to live, you know, right in there, one on top of the other. And then I think I'm gonna use it as like some pantry storage, maybe get like a hanging plant. Like you can see the vision, right? I'm not going to tell you how much I spent on them because apparently floating shelves cost an arm and a leg. Okay, anyways, let's get the cleaning supplies to clean this grout. This is our nice little organized cleaning section. I think I'm going to use, yeah this pink stuff paste. I told myself at the beginning of the new year that I was going to switch to all non-toxic cleaning products, but that I wasn't going to switch until I ran out of what I already had. Um, unfortunate for me, I bought a lot of things at Costco, so it's taking a long time to run out of those items. So I think I'm gonna try using this pink paste, shove it in the corners, and then go in with my nifty diffy brush. All right, let's see if this works. I'm so excited. I love a good before and after. Just to put it into perspective, the before and after, this is what we just did. And then if you just slowly, oh my gosh, ah! that is the best and most satisfying before and after I've ever seen. This is the best investment I've ever made. And I don't think that this was very expensive. I've still only gotten part of the kitchen done and I need, I need a little pick me up. I need a little pick me up. This is taking much longer than I anticipated. I also literally just did my nails like two days ago. And of course I decided to do a deep clean and ruin my nails. So whatever, I'm fine. Excuse me, I need to get in here. Hello, I need to get in here. <laughs> Okay, this is what I really like to use on our glass cooktop. I find that it gets off all of the like, you know, hardened stuff that I may have accidentally burned on the stove. You just shake it up and then I just wipe down the surface so that there's not like any large chunks or anything. And then you paint on the little paste. And then it came with this little like scrub brush. I won't show you the side. Beep. I need to replace this red part, but don't judge me. And then you just, Wipe in circular motions. And then this is what makes my stove so shiny. Okay, it's not perfect, but it sure is a heck of a lot better. It's so shiny and it just like looks so much less dull. Amazon return. Do you think I have enough pairs of black leggings? This clothes drying rack has been such a lifesaver because we don't have a large laundry room to hang dry all of our clothes. So this one just like sits in our kitchen while we do the laundry. And it's literally perfect because it folds up and fits right between our washer and dryer. We love it. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna make my husband take out the trash from recycling. <laughs> Loaded towels. wash will be good. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I just need to pick up the living room now of all my puppy toys. And um, oh my God, it's probably time I get rid of my Christmas candle. <laughs> Dang it, we've already put away the Christmas boxes for the year. So normally I just pick up all of Coda's toys before we do the vacuuming. It is like I have a two year old, but it's actually a dog. I have been doing this approximately two and a half hours. There's no way that you're not getting exercise. I'm literally sweating. So the living room looks so nice. We need to get some can lighting in here because it's literally so dark. That is next on our list of updates to do to this house. Um, we have a clean couch, an almost clean table, but just my laptop. Put all the stuff away. The kitchen is nice and beautiful. I have a load of laundry running in the laundry room. Well, I haven't put this away yet, but I mean, come on. Come on, that looks a thousand times better. There's nothing over here except for our nice little vacuum. Isn't it so aesthetically pleasing? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun. It made cleaning a lot more fun for me to be able to share it with you guys. Also, if you're looking for an update on my TTC 
trying for a baby journey. My next vlog that I put up will likely have some more information on that. I'm gonna be finding out if this cycle worked for us or not. So um, hopefully I'll be able to have an update for you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.